Put him up. Welcome back to game number two of our final series here in the uh, second group of the group stages. The winner here will move on. The loser, unfortunately, will become just a spectator for the rest of the series. Um, these two have already had one series tonight. Atlas up one game to none um in this current series and he was also the winner of the previous series so eon has got his work cut out for him um cube why don't you take us through uh these uh players and where they're spotting on polar night so oh there's the cube i'm sorry i have to make dinner I'm making some noodles <laughs> All right, I'll do introductions then. So in the uh, 12 o'clock spawn, since Cube is making noodles, we have uh, the purple Zerg player trying desperately to pull out two more games and upset Atlas here, claiming it and claim a spot in the rest of the tournament. We have Infinity Gaming's Eon. And player that we've seen play almost Every game that we've casted tonight, ironically so, chasing a uh, drone around in his base. Those drones can be ever so pesky. Um, in the beautiful baby blue painted command center, we have everyone's favorite A team member and captain, Atlas. It's Academy, by the way, not A team. Academy, they all start with A's, it's fine. Barrett's uh, going down. Yeah, we do see Hatch first again. And Eon does not want to let Atlas pass. Pass through this bracket. Eon really wants that five bucks. I think he's going to spend it on Riot Points. I'm not too sure though. I think Atlas would spend it on Riot Points. Good prediction. So, Cube, what do you think we're gonna see here? Well, we do see the Reaper opening, so we don't. We're not seeing Halvey and Banshee or a Marine with a Marine push like last game. I think Atlas is gonna play a bit more aggressive this game, according to what he sees, and he will be able to see the hatch first by the time the Reaper gets there. So, Eon is kind of known for um, a little bit more of a cheesy all any strategy here, so it'll be interesting to see what he's got up his sleeve, or whether he tries to take this into a more macro-oriented game. Um, as we've seen in the past, he's kind of uh, relied a bit on uh, tricks, but Atlas seems to be one step ahead of most of those, and anytime Eon uh, slips up just a little bit, Atlas has been there to uh, punish it with a superior army and upgrades. Reaper moving into Eon's base here. Pecking away, might get a drone kill here. All the drones pulled, chasing the Reaper, a little lost mining time here. This drone is going to go down, fortunately so. Still working, one drone saying hello, tag your it to the Reaper. Reaper running away, that's not the way tag is played. Extractor going down, Reaper still hacking away. Just gonna escape with two kills, six hit points, underneath the uh, watchful gaze of that Overlord. Gonna run back, healing itself up. Uh, good, thing it has, good thing he has drugs on him. Otherwise, I don't think he'd heal that fast. Yep. Lings are um, out in front. Uh, gonna meet uh, the Marines here. This Ling is gonna try to slow the bunker down. So we do uh, have got... double gas coming out. This either is full out tech or full out cheese, if I'm not, if I'm not um... wrong. No, five five thirty double gas here doesn't. Well, that one's not saturated yet, so it'll be interesting to see if he does put another two 
workers in there or if he's just going for four workers in gas here. We saw but, this um we saw this earlier though. Um was that tonight? That's oh, not very fish. Ops for ops for a third here. I think I think Ian is just gonna go for upgrades here. I'm not really not really sure what's going on with the with the gas. I wouldn't be surprised to see um two Evos going down shortly. However, both these gases aren't saturated. Is I'm that... not familiar with whatever yeah, so here are the Evos. So that's a that was a correct read. Um, is I've never two, seen two... it done quite this way though. Is two workers in each gas better than three workers in one gas and one worker in the other? I'm the hype person. You're the um, you're the knowledgeable one, Cube. So you tell me. I'm, I'm gonna not guess sure about that, that. Yeah, I'm gonna guess that it, it's pretty much the same. Because you're speaking. not you're not slowed down at all mining gas with three people, and so you wouldn't be. Uh, well, not three people. I guess I consider all my little drones people. But um, so now both gas is saturated, and I can guarantee you that having both gas is saturated is faster than having just one in uh, both of them. So. Don't know if that was a mistake or not. Usually the timing uh, works out so that you have enough gas to start both um, when the Evo is finished. So maybe that was just a miss rally there, and um, he was supposed to be mining out of that the whole time. Both upgrades started here, but as we can see, the uh, melee upgrade delayed a little bit from the carapace just because there wasn't enough. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go out and say that that was a mistake from Eon. Do you think he's gonna go into spire layer attack? Um, it or do you think he's going to stay on the ground with his Roach Hydra playing? I, Atlas is I don't expect out. Roach Hydra here because he's doing the, the melee ground. Um, Atlas, uh, with Combat Shield, uh, stim halfway done, pushing out across the map, or at least walking into the thing that's in the center of the map. There appears to be a little base here that looks very Terran-like. Um, just stopping and uh, seeing the sights. Going to move out and see if he can punish this, uh, this third. Spinecrawler going going down here um lag going up as well there's not a lot on the field here for eon he's got several zerglings two queens not making their way over here though these all of these units need to head on over zerglings moving out for possible counterattack, but i don't see any way he can prevent losing this hatchery without his units i don't think he saw this coming at all as um, none of his army is in position to deal with it this hatch is going to go down without a scratch on any of these marines Alice could actually win it right here if he decided to go push into the natural unless he had stopped right here by these He needs to start or stop this. He's yeah, losing, losing a lot. so many drones here. I don't necessarily agree with throwing all those drones here to, to trade with the Marines. But he um, could have stutter stopped that and he could have killed everything there no matter what. I think that was a mistake on both player sides. Yeah, a little bit a little bit of a surround there with the broodlings. I mean the timing was great for the attack and he managed to kill everything off, but um, I don't think it's as, as big a loss for, um, for Atlas as it is for, uh, Eon there, because all of those drones, it's all larvae that you need to be, uh, putting towards units now. Um, I'd like to see him immediately retake this third here, too. Yeah, there he goes. I'd like to see, uh, a pro- I mean, a proxy hatch in his own main- I mean a macro hatch in Eon's base, because he is gonna fall short in larvae really soon. Yeah, he's uh he's floating uh 700 700. Spire is halfway done here, so he may be banking some of this gas for mutas. Um, 16 or 18 lings on the way now. Creep spread looking pretty good. Bases are all connected. Creep starting to make its way towards these larger sections by the Zelnaga towers in the middle of the map. Um, expansion the third for Eon is uh, about halfway done here, and uh, Atlas here. Uh, Getting ready to uh, kick the war machine into high gear. Uh, three more barracks and a command center going down. Uh, looks like uh, Marine Tank is the current composition, and uh, Atlas is moving out to be aggressive again. Eon has two full tank queens down by his third, and he is going to double expand here. I do not necessarily agree with this double expand. I think it's greedy, and he will get punished by it. Yeah, so Eon, we do uh, see. If, you, if, if you're trying to be um, if you're trying to be this greedy, I would expect a Zerg player to have a little bit better map awareness. He hasn't had um, he hasn't had control of the middle of the map for a while. Lings and Bane's moving in. The to clean yeah. this up. Uh, tanks do kill the queen though, and two lone marines, uh, hero marines here, getting healed up. Tanks getting picked up. Marines want to get in the medevac, but they are not 
uninvited tanks get picked up. This is a tank only transportation uh, flight, and unfortunately, those Marines do have to die. Sorry, first class only, no coach. Oh, gotta make sure he can get these walls up in time, just barely gets it in time. One Marine in the bunker, all the other Marines wish they were in the bunker. Mutas are here, siege tanks repelling that from the wall. And checking for a third, but not finding any. Good hold there from Eon. Um, he's able to secure these four bases and take map control, which he so desperately needs, as uh, Atlas has been aggressively posturing here. He does have a few meters out on the field. Uh, he needs to start morphing some banelings for his defense, and if he's going to attack. Yeah, we saw this uh, from him in, in the game on Whirlwind from the earlier series. Um, he was just short on Zerglings and uh, didn't have any Banelings available uh, for the next push. He is morphing in Banelings now. He may be caught slightly out of position as Atlas moves out here, but it looks it's like Atlas. he might have a good shot at this, uh, this third expansion if uh, Atlas overextends, but that will also leave his third very vulnerable. But you gotta remember, he's still got a wall, and if he does see tanks, can that wall, he's gonna stop pretty much everything. Great, Muta's moving in here. Uh, not a ton of anti-air, but he doesn't quite have that critical mass of Muta's here to be able to engage these small clumps of marines. Hugh Bailing's moving in, uh, crashing into the siege tanks. That's not quite the intended target. Two Muta's not attacking anything. Marines coming in, lots of damage taken by these Mutas. I'm not sure this is entirely worth it, but these Mutas are all he has to fight with right now. This hatch is in danger of going down. I think Atlas might be able to snipe this. Yeah, Atlas set up to uh, take this uh, expansion down yet again. Lack of units on the field for Eon, totally uh, being punished now. Atlas does not know about Eon's other other expansion at all but Ian hasn't been mining too much off it he doesn't have the gas from it and he is not making macro hatches he's got a ton of money just like the whirlwind game a ton yep, of money here comes Everything. the counter he's got no he's got no larvae back in his main either well returning blow for blow Ian comes in and takes out almost all of the scvs here at the third of Atlas. I I think these SCVs should have just been pulled back. Instead, they chose to stay and fight. Um, they had the fighting spirit in them, but they're not going to stand a chance against many uh, many Zerglings here. All these Zerglings turned into Banelings. 18 Banelings on the way. More Mutas joining up. Muta count still pretty low here as the other Mutas were forced to stay and fight against the Marine tank composition. I just am not seeing the overwhelming amount of Zerglings that... Uh, Eon needs to just stop these pushes dead in their tracks. He can't afford to lose the base every time Atlas pushes out. He cannot afford that in the late game either. If he... We actually have Flag Carapers 2 coming in for Eon. I'm not too fond of this upgrade for the Mutants. I'd rather get the plus one attack, plus two attack. I'd rather go up the attack group. Why do you think he's getting the... The Great splits here by Atlas. It's not going to be quite enough, though. The Banelings do collide and everything, but he does make every single one of those Banelings have to go off. Reasonable trade there. Um, good job finally stopping one of these pushes before they actually do damage. And moving in for the counterattack, uh, this is exactly what uh, Eon needs to do. Get to snipe this base. I like this choice rather than going for the SCVs. Keeping, keeping base count lower is... is a big deal with mules and everything. Killing SCVs not gonna do too much for you. But the Marines will become cost efficient once Atlas starts researching three three. Yeah, which is Eon already on is the way. Is floating so much money again that if Atlas manages to catch up this army, I don't think Eon could remax again. Yeah, like you've said so many times, Cube. We have we have one macro hatch here and. 4,000 minerals in the bank for Eon. He needs more larva. He needs and he's, two he's or three even, more macro hatches. He's not even 200, 200. And his queens are like the free gas that you want when you go to the gas station. It's like, fill her up. They're full on energy. They're full on oh, gas. Oh, tanks set up. Bailing's cutting back, opting not to burst on the tanks. Good choice there. Marines cutting back. Splits Some splitting going on. It's not 
quite enough, but still, every single Baneling here forced to pop. Three more left, but this tank is gonna mop up these three Banelings pretty quickly. But he did reset the meter count, that's a big thing, and we do have Hive coming down from Eon. The meter count is low, and there's supposed to be the skill per level, the endgame scaling unit. But they're not scaling very well, because yep. he's losing so many of them. Eon, though, denying this base yet again. Um, Atlas pretty much mined out in his main here, officially mined out now of, of minerals. His natural is uh, dwindling very, uh, very low here, while Eon is up on, uh, looks like, probably two and a half mining bases. Muta's poking in. Not a good trade here against the Marines. Back off, Muta's. Atlas oh. trying desperately to get another expansion up. This one, if it goes unscouted, will be great, but it's in a terribly vulnerable position so close to uh, the third of Eon. We do have Atlas setting up his timing push right now, coming in for this plus, plus three attack on those Marines. But I don't think he'll have enough to stop Eon's army. Eon needs to start freeing up supplies, start making overlords, start capping out. He's not even maxed. He needs to be maxed at this time and moment, and I can't stress enough how f how far ahead he is, but how far behind he is because he's Oh, I might he's be able to pick up some himself. medevacs here. Medevacs caught a little bit out of position. Mutas, if they can target fire down some of these low health medevacs, they get so many kills, but opting for SCVs instead. Perhaps the better trade there. Now we have a nice count of mutas. We have 21 mutas on the field. This is starting to look pretty dangerous here for Atlas. He leaves the front door wide open. These banelings are coming crashing in. This this looks like it may be the end of the game here for Atlas. Marines holding. Banelings trying desperately to come through. Lots of Marines go down. SCB is running. Muta's moving in, attacking the turrets. Probably not their primary target right now, but more Zerglings are streaming across the field to come back and reinforce this. All these medevacs are incredibly low on health. And... <laughs> Eon talking a little trash. A little bit of bad manners here. Um, taking down all the medevacs. Looks like uh, Eon Ling Bane... Muta mopping most of this up. I think this is all but over, aside from the um, players going at it a little bit. And there is the GG. And BM coming from both players, and no GG from Atlas and Eon. Poking him with a fork. <laughs>